Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, I'm Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I. I want to welcome you to our show today. We're going to be doing a pork loin, which I'm really excited about because we're going to make a wonderful barbecue and we're also going to make a Madeira wine and pork with different vegetables like potatoes and carrots and wonderful celery. So at this time of the year in the winter time you have uh, you know a time when people are really they need comfort food warmth. So the first thing that we're going to do this is about a four or five pound pork loin and actually it was on sale for $1.99 a pound which makes it very economical for your family. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off, I like to take off a, a little bit of the fat, okay, we want to leave some of it on, right, and then what we're going to do, and I took part of it off already, and we're going to brown this loin in olive oil in a hot pan to start, and we're going to sear it on both sides and brown it a little bit. And I'm going to slow cook it, so I'm going to put it in a slow cooker. But you can put it in the oven for about two or three hours, and, and you can have a wonderful, you know, pork loin and just chop up, you know, in really nice slices your pork loin. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here, uh, maybe a quarter of a cup or whatever. And then we're going to take the pork loin, and we're going to brown it. Okay, so I'm going to take it and put it in here, and it's a hot one. And I've got it turned up. And we're going to brown this for, brown it on both sides. That's what we're going to do first. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop up our celery and our carrots. Some of the carrots I have then you can just put in to the pot easily. And we need to cut up an onion. So that's the first thing that we're going to do while we're waiting for that to brown. And we're, I'm using a red onion because I want color in it. And I know that all of you uh, love to do this. And this is, like I said, very easy, comfort food, real simple to do. And if you're doing it in a slow cooker, I did this, um, this meat, I've done it before, I've done it for about eight hours. And it comes out really nice for your barbecue and it just pulls apart. You can still slice it, but you can use it for barbecue too. So. That's exactly what we're doing tonight. And I know that you would like to send some of your recipes in. We'd love to have them on the Chef You and I. So feel free to write us at um, www.thechefyouandi.com. And we're, we're on the Family Friendly Entertainment Network now, and we're so excited. And you can see us uh, all over the cable. And we... We really are tickled to be on the network, and I know that you're going to really enjoy our shows if you have never watched them before, and we just do plain cooking, and I know that there's a lot of, you've watched a lot of chef shows over the years. We're not one of those really fancy chef shows, so we're, and we want to try to make you healthier, so that's what our mission is on The Chef, you and I. So here we are. We're almost done. Chopping up the onions, and while that's browning, and you can hear that searing, and you just want to brown it on, on either side before you put it into the slow cooker, so it seals, it seals the juices in for your pork loin. Um, also, we're going to do some other things on um, the chef show later, so and you'll be able to see how beautiful it all comes out. This will feed. This pork loin will at least give you two or three meals, especially if you're a small family. If you have a big family, uh, probably two. So we're going to turn this over. And I'm going to take and cover it so it doesn't pop everywhere. So you just need to brown it. And I'm going to use um, 
I'm going to use a little bit of uh, white pepper on it and some salt. Now, if you're doing it in the oven, you're going to put the oven at 350 degrees and you want to put your thermometer in there to make sure that it's done inside when you take it out. And if you want to um, cook it even longer to make barbecue, then um, it'll start, you can tell that it's going to start, you know, really getting, uh, you know, falling apart. And for barbecue, that's kind of what you want. So that's the reason why I like to do it in a slow cooker because it just makes it a lot easier uh, if you're making barbecue. And, and my family just loves barbecue. So we'll wait for a second. And um, if you want to see our, our wonderful shows, you can go up on the Family Friendly Entertainment Network and or also YouTube, Katherine Raker's YouTube. We're on every kind of cable station there is out there. And also you can go to thechefuni.com. So let's see how this is doing. Let's look at this. Maybe a minute or two longer, and then it will be, I'll turn it over one more time and seal the rest of it, and then we're going to put it into the slow cooker. And with the slow cooker, you're going to use about a cup or two of water at the bottom of the slow cooker, and then we're going to cut up our, we might as well start cutting up our vegetables that we're going to put in there, and get them ready to go. And they can just be, you don't have to make them any smaller than this. And I, I really, really love these carrots that I got. And for, for moms that have kids at home, this is such an easy dinner for you. And you can get it done really quickly. Prepare it like on Sunday, and then you've got two meals for the rest of the week. This is celery that we're using. And... I actually went out and bought a fast pack so I could do it really simple. And then you might have some celery left over for kids for snacks tomorrow. So my family really loves celery, so we're going to put that celery in there. And then we've got the carrots that we're going to use. And here, let me get this. We're going to have carrots and celery and wonderful onions in there and I do have mushrooms and to make it simple for you you can have mushrooms that are already sliced and I'll show you them and these are just really nice button mushrooms already sliced already washed they're organic and we're going to use that in our pork loin okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this over oh that looks beautiful just a little bit more and let's put this right here okay and take that and in just about a second or two I'm going to bring the slow cooker over and we're going to transfer it into the slow cooker so I'm going to turn this off now that it's brown you just want to brown it just sear it so that you can walk in those juices and we're going to transfer it. I love this new wonderful slow cooker my sweet husband got me for, for Christmas. And it's beautiful because the nice thing about it is it's casserole that comes out, easy to clean, and, and easy to take to a party or to have when you're, when you're the hostess of everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this on and to high. I'm going to start it out at high and what I'm going to do is put water in. So that's two cups of water. And we did that. All right, just clean that up. And then we're going to put our pork loin in there. So I'm going to take this off. And we're going to put it in here. It just fits. That's beautiful. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add all these wonderful vegetables to it. Okay. That I've cut up. 
because they'll cook for eight hours and they'll just be beautiful and tender in the end, okay? And I'm, we're going to show it to you in a second. All right. Put more carrots in there. Put a few more carrots. And just really, really easy to do. You saw how simple that was. Even if you're a beginner cook, you can do this. So that's that. And we're going to use some, I'm going to use a little bit of lemon and pepper in this. I know that sounds weird, but we're going to use a little lemon and pepper. And then I'm also, um, halfway through, I'm going to put this wonderful jelly, this new habanero jelly that, that I love, this spread the love. I'm going to put that on top of it halfway through. And I usually do that when I'm baking with it. I'm putting it in, and, and then I'll put it on top of it. And it just makes it taste so good. So we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. And a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of parsley. And I'm going to put some mushrooms in too. So I'm just going to take a little of this. And that's about a teaspoon. All right, and then let's put some mushrooms in. Just a few. What a great dinner this is going to be. Absolutely. All right, and then we'll put the top on. And we'll seal it. I just let me move this other skillet for a minute. Put it over here. Clean it out later. And then we'll just put this like this and lock it in, just like that. And that's it. That's the best, this is the simplest thing that you can do to, to make a wonderful pork loin. And later on, uh, we will show you, um, by the magic of television, how simple it was. Well, prepare it for you and we'll serve it and you can have it. We'll have it too. So we'll be right back after these messages on The Chef You and I.